Hey, K1 Green Mountain Maniac here with the completion of the 80 meter phased dipole array. Uh, what we've got here is a two position switch. Uh, I believe this is maybe a diamond, it's a legal limit. Um, not sure. Uh, there's a bunch of manufacturers that make this switch and they all look the same, so they're probably co all coming out of the same company. Uh, it's a decent switch. Uh, what I have is a motor drive. Um, and uh, to couple it to the switch, I use a three-quarter inch PVC cap with some set screws to, to keep it from moving on the shaft of the motor drive. And this is all controlled from inside the shack. Uh, just one note, you'll notice wire caps here. Uh, what I do, this I phased it. The phasing line is actually 75 ohm quad shield. You can't solder the braid on 75 ohm quad shield. So, what I do is I fill a cap with dielectric grease and run a jumper soldered to the shields of the uh, 50 ohm RG8X and that goes to the phasing line and they're just wire nutted together and I found this is a very good way of doing it and it's non-destructive. You can use crimp-ons and solid connections, but the problem is it's destructive. So if you have to take it apart, you basically have to cut it off. Don't like that. Anyways, and this is plenty adequate. I run a uh, kilowatt through the other systems here and never have an issue. Okay, so let's go out to the antenna itself. So we've got uh, two equal length dipoles cut for resonance on 3.70. That's where the dipoles are cut for, uh, the DX portion. Now, I'm planning on upgrading to extra. Uh, they run over here. And I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there it is. Uh, there's the southeast corner of the array. And uh, I can't get the spacing out far enough. They're spaced about 40 feet right now, and I just can't sneak it out any further. So I went with that. Now, these are running as a... The parasitic element, when it switches from one direction to the other, actually becomes a director, not a, not a reflector. Uh, I found this very effective. Uh, and it's kind of a situation I'm forced into. So what we've got... Uh, up to the feed points we've got RG8X feed, feeding the dipoles and they're cut at 5 8 wave so 5 8 wave comes out around 92 to 93 feet uh, for the lengths so I have two 90, 92 to 93 foot lengths coming off the dipoles to the switch now to get them phased uh, what I've got is I've got 75 ohm quad shield, uh, which is coiled up down here, and approximately 41 feet. Uh, I've found that 41 feet uh, seems to do the trick. Uh, I've got approximately, oh, uh, 3 to 6 dB front to back on stations inside of 200 miles uh, local. On 80 meters and I have uh, 6 to 11 DB front to back on stations out to 200 miles and I have uh, 15 to 20 DB on DX stations out at uh, 3,000 miles or so and it's working exactly the way it should um, so that's basically it on that deal um, okay uh, forgot to mention this is the switch box for the array uh, this is currently switched into stateside uh, southwest configuration. Um, this is obviously the activator. This will activate the motor drive and you basically go uh, two directions with a switch. Uh, pretty straightforward. Very simple, very cheap. I think I get these boxes off by Amazon for pff, nothing. Uh, I don't know, four or five bucks for a package of them. Come in really handy. Anyways, that's the switching mechanism for it. We'll be back. Okay, so we're going to do an SWR sweep now on the 7300. I, uh, I don't have an analyzer that will go below 5 megahertz, so um, I'm kind of stuck uh, with this. 
So we'll do a quick SWR sweep and take a look at it and see where it's falling. And it's falling right where I want it. Uh, settled right in where I want it. So uh, we've got... Uh, uh, it's going to start the sweep at 3500 and go to about 3900 uh, 3990 I believe, somewhere in there, or 3900 So uh, we'll start the sweep. We'll have a go at it here. Okay, so we've got uh, the SWR sweep. Uh, looks like we've got uh, below a one and a half to one from 3500, and I do a lot of FT8 uh, digital mode stuff like that, so that's handy. Uh, one and a half to one, uh, all the way up to 3750, 3800. So we've got a one and a half to one or less between 3500 and uh, 3800. So that's not bad. That's pretty good bandwidth. Uh, moving up into the general class portion of the band, uh, we're still below a 2 to 1, almost all the way up into uh, the top section of, of the uh, band portion. So just below 400, uh, 4,000, 4 So uh, she's in good shape. Uh, she's doing exactly what she's supposed to be doing. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll post the uh, write-up on it at the end of this video. 7-3, hope to hear you on the bands. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing. Much appreciated, folks. K1 Green Mountain Maniac.